Okay, so everything had some time to dry. You can see how the flat black looks really nice. It actually makes the wood look like it's wrought iron. So the anchors are done. The cannon, let's see how, how tiny they are, are done. So we can put all this aside now. And I think what we're going to start doing, actually let me put this aside, get all these pieces out of the way. You can see we have the, the deck, the poop deck. I think we're going to put that on first and we'll do, we'll follow this. We're going to do the, um, uh, that will be the port side. You can see the first layer we'll put on, the second layer, and then the third. And you can see eventually how it's going to come together with the, the captain's quarters in the back. But, um, yeah, let's do that. So we're going to put on the poop deck right now. So going to use a little bit of glue. This, it already was in position. I just didn't want to put it on until I knew for sure, but nothing is going to go underneath this now. So we can put this just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put just a tad of the glue, just enough to make contact. pretty good. I want to make it so it's not overlapping. Okay, so we got this section on and we got it clamped just so um, it doesn't go anywhere, but it's even. All right, <clears throat> so when we look at the instruction sheet, we did all this, we got up to here, we just finished putting on part 35. We have, see all the, the, um, the grates for the cargo hatches? Remember I had said that we were going to glue them on and then we can stain them later. Um, but I think we're going to hold off on that because the way it would appear is we'll still have access to this even after we plank the ship. So we're going to do that after. So those will be put on at a later time. You can see the front uh, looks like piece number 50. And that's going to go in the front. But we'll do that later as well. What I want to do is we're going to put on the sides of the ship. And we're going to start from the, uh, the port side. And again, we're going to stain these at a later time before we put them on. So we need the walls to the side of the ship. So we get the planking. Okay, so for the port side, and incidentally, remember we're going to have the power supply, but this is going to be coming out the bottom of the ship. And we're going to do a whole section to put it into the, the base. But for now, we'll just put that aside. All right, so the way it looks, um, we're going to need, let's see, I'm going to make sure we get the right piece. Looks like this is piece number 47. That's a little bit better. So this is 47. And this piece, um, yeah, we didn't even need the knife. So let me put this over there for a moment. So, um, 
what I'm going to do is there are little nubs that we need to take care of. So I think what I'm going to do, like see that one? We're going to just smooth it out. Yeah, that looks good. So one thing, let me show you guys something. When it comes to the cannon holes, they're not just going to be holes in the side of the ship, like that looks. There are actually little frames that we have to put on. And over those frames, they're going to be little covers. And those are going to be black. Now the inside is red, but again, We'll get to that when we get to that. But um, what I want to do first is we're going to put the walls on. We'll frame later on. Let's just get the walls situated. So let me see now if we can go ahead and we can unclamp the poop deck. That looks solid. That looks good. Yeah. So let me show you guys how how the wall is going to go on. So the way the instructions look, we have this section, and this is going to go up against the side of the ship, just like this. And we're going to know it's in the right spot because it's going to go right up against the poop deck that we just put on. And see how the little fan is flaring out? It's going to rest right on that, so that way, that way there we know we have it in the right section. So the back end is going to be relatively simple to put on, and coming down to the front, so this is going to go even um, with the deck that's coming forward. So that looks pretty good, it's going to go up just a bit. So I'm wondering if we should go ahead and put the, uh, there's a section that's going to go on where the bowsprit's going to come out. I think it's part number 50. So, yeah, so part number 50 is going to go right at the front where the bowsprit's going to be. So let's go ahead and we need to cut this out. So what we're going to do is we've got to glue this in place. And if we need to sand it down a little bit, we'll sand it. But let's, uh, let's glue this in place. So what I also want to do is we're going to put a little bit of... See how that looks? Because this is going to be painted, we're not going to uh, we're not going to stain the ship because the ship is going to be black, um, and it's not yellow. It's it's more like a an orange kind of color that they discovered. She was actually in color. Um, so we're gonna. I want to do a little bit of glue. So see how it lines up with this bulkhead in the front. Make sure that it's straight and it's following that bulkhead. And what we'll do is, once the glue's dry, if we need to um, file it down or sand it down just a bit, we will. 
So while that's dry drying, I want to show you guys how we're going to put this into place now. So now this is going to go up here. And I'm thinking it might be a good idea. We'll glue it in the sections. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to glue this section on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clamp it. So what I want to do is we're going to overlay this section and I'm going to line it up in the front. And it's going to go just like that. I don't know if I'll be able to get a clamp in here, but That's good. It's going to work out. So see how we have it clamped so far? We've got this piece. And we've got good contact. So what we got to do is we have to bring it down to the front. And it's going to go just like that. So let's go ahead and we're going to glue this area. Then we can clamp that. So again, you can see we'll, we'll just bring the deck down just a little bit. I think it's because these structures over here are in the way, but we can fix that. We can eventually bring the deck into this section, um, but we're going to make sure it's dried first because I just wanted to make sure that it's lining up with this section that we just put in. Okay, so while it's doing that, I think we'll look at the next piece down. So we had seen that section. So the next section is going to go just below the section. And let's see, that would be piece... If that was piece 47, then the piece below it looks like it would be 43. So we need to wrap the first plank around to the bottom to where the keel is. You see we made our mark with the pencil. That's going to be right about here. So that looks pretty good. So <clears throat> what we're going to do now is let me move this out of the way. Be careful because that's hot. So we're going to we're going to glue this section on right now. And we're going to put a little drop on each one of the bulkheads. See how we got to keep it to the curvature of around the bow. All right. 
so what we need to do now is get the next piece ready. Now let's see, that would be... As we got the first piece of the bulwark, we got the second one. And we're gonna need, it looks like, part number 44. Just about over here. So let's. So now we need to soak this one. So see how the first, well, under the bulwark, we got this strip that's coming around. So what we need to do is we need to put the. Uh, the one below that and I just want to make sure that the pencil line is going to line up so this is going to go on Let's take a look and see how that's working. Okay, so now we're going to take some of the glue. And now we're going to put this section on. see one of the big differences between a cheaper model as opposed to like the Oakley version is we would put the bulwarks on on the uh, the Oakley but then we'd still plank over it with this you can see the planks are all kind of burned in to the sides so we're only going to put one layer of the planks on unlike the Oakley where we would have this plus to be another section so there'd be two layers of the planking let's see that was number 44 right so now we're going to do 45 and that's going to be another strip like a single strip Now we're ready to move on with the next one. That looks like it should be enough. And not only am I putting glue, bulkheads I'm putting a little bit up on a plank above it so it'll have something to bite
47, 43, 44, 45, and the last one is 46 before we got to start thinking about planking. So let's get the 46 out. And that would be this one right here. Okay, so what I want to do is we're going to mark off the area that's going to have the, the bend. So let's see. That looks, that looks good. So it looks like it's going to be right down to where the... Yeah, where that opening is going to be. So let's go right about there. Pretty good. All right, so we're going to start to glue again on this section. And again, we're going to go on to the, not only on the bulkhead, but onto the, the previous plank. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? So you can see we got all the way down to the bottom row of the bulwarks. Um, let's see, we got to 46, we did 47, 43, 44, 45, and 46. And as you can see, everything from this point down um, would be the planking. So I think we have to wait now, <clears throat> and we're going to wait for this to really dry. Um, when it's dry, I think what we're going to do is we'll turn it around, because we really want to make sure that this has time to solidify. So we're going to do the other side. So this is the port side for the bulwarks. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. but. You can see all the cannon are going to be coming out. And eventually, when this is all dry, um, we'll lightly sand it. Everything will be smooth, and we're going to have all the little covers that are going to go on for the cannon. So I think what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to do all the starboard side. And we're going to get that all set. We'll do all the bulwarks, get them all set, and everything done before we start planking. And what I'll do is... We'll do the, uh, the starboard side, and then after that, we'll do um, we'll do the back, the captain's quarters, and all that, and then we'll do the, the planking. The final planking will be on the bottom. So it's basically just about a little more than half the hull now will be the covering of with the planking. And again, that should be going smoothly because we have the necessary tools now that I that I needed. So we have the the iron. Actually, let me unplug that now. And we have the um, the little guillotine, and we have the different uh, little tools that I'm going to need to do this. So, my friends, that concludes this section. 
Uh, until the next video, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do the starboard side. So this is the port side, the bulwarks. We got everything clamped up and we need to let the glue dry. So until my next video, my friends, thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, my God.